Good morning to all. In this video, we are going to discuss the AXI stream with code examples. It is a part of AXI series that we already seen the AXI 1, 2, 3. You consider this is a part 4. Let's begin. The AXI stream is simple of AXI, which means it has a minimum signal constraints. Like only the slave has to send the T ready signal to master. If the slave is ready, master is sending the data consecutively to the slave. So at the last, it will send the one signal that is last, which defines the whatever the sending sequence or packets is at the end or terminated. So the waveform look like this. Uh, if you consider this one, so uh, master is sending the data ok so it provides also the valid signal and then if slave is not ready it will halt and then again send the data like that at the last it will assign one last signal t last signal which defines the end of the packet so ultimately it look like this uh, one packet with last again one series of the data and again it's at last it will send the data uh, last in between if there is a no valid uh, no ready signal from the slave it will wait until it will goes high so in simple way it is the uh, simplest of all the axi uh, signaling and it is generally used for let's say there is a one uh, module here like audio modules are there let's say so only the con uh, continuous data to be fit to that audio module so that the whatever the sound or uh, is going uh, continuously playing on that so in in this way in this direction as well maybe some mi from mic some streaming signal needed so in that ca case it is also in this way also as well <coughs> okay so mainly the uh, concern part is uh, ready and valid signal that is a, a main signaling here so these are some cases where the uh, valid and ready signal is uh, approaching like uh, in this case the t valid is uh, asserted before okay then in this case uh, valid signals come later on but in both cases or any cases when both are one then only information or data get transferred in this case uh, all uh, both are uh, simultaneously one so this is one of the case in general maybe the valid already uh, come before or after but when both are one then only uh, data get transferred so these are the com uh, some connections examples like inside this there is some hardware IP as I told maybe the audio or any video from camera so in that case what happened the data is come uh, continuously so either we have to uh, channelize it with the D uh, DMA but for that we have to grab the data or send the data using this uh, streaming uh, protocol ok so I just uh, make one code where the master is sending the signal only so in simple way what, what it is like M means master ok so these are the clock these are the probe signals and these are the valid signals so as we consider this valid ones high and the uh, it will start the uh, streaming the data like this ok at a start it uh, at the end it will uh, assert a t last signal in this way ok so for generation of this code like let's say there, there is one uh, uh, um, uh, integer which uh, values is uh, gradually increment up to the 8 once it is uh, equal to 8 
we will assign the last signal okay in this is this simple uh, master uh, streaming signal okay so when we connect this master to slave device the similar waveform will we get these are these are the already corresponding to m means master is sending and for slave we are signaling as snn it is considered to be the slave signals so we get the same thing here okay as master sending so it not any uh, complicated signaling actually it is very simple to implement we will see later on in code how we can uh, implement this and simulate this so in the simplest form this is a master streaming signals we already seen but uh, i remove all other uh, signals from that okay so it is simplest one data is sending packet length we are considering for the comparison when it is reached to 8 we assign t valid signal this is streaming data this is ideal case this is streaming data this is ideal case like that so similar for the slave master slave interconnections so this is data from the master this is uh, so this is a slave data received so both are same and this is a t valid goes to long uh, down and t uh, last will be high at that moment so please subscribe my channel and please make comment you want anything should be added or not what i can Im improve so you can also comment on that and please hit uh, like buttons if you like this one so we will start for the uh, seeing that code and the simulation for that okay uh, this is a axi master stream code it has all the required signals t valid out t data out then uh, stroke last i just uh, make it simple uh, i make uh, some parameter that is uh, for the length and the packet width in this i just uh, make this strobe is always high and uh, in the data i just place the packet uh, length count so i gradually uh, start from the zero to up to the eight uh, as we go inside the always block uh, these two are zero in initially at reset conditions and ideal conditions and when we are start the uh, streaming we make the valid one and then gradually we increment the packet and also check for the whether that packet reached to the 8 or not if it is reached to that one i just uh, assign the or asserted the last signal and make it state ideal okay so this is very simple uh, axs stream master uh, implementation so while we are going for the any practical uh, data sending in this in that case this data is not coming from the packet length itself we have to brought something into this from the external which is uh, need to be sent so that that will be going outside this uh, data okay along with this this signaling so for the test bench i just create one simple clock generation then some passage for the uh, clocks and then i uh, make some loop for the up to the 40 or equal to 40 so in that uh, also we have to make the instantiation of the hexam master stream as a duck and it will generate some signals so if you look this is this is a simple uh, simulation of that what we are discussing here so these are the valid and t signal t last signals so interconnections okay so for axi stream uh, signaling from master to slave so I make some uh, streaming slave as simple as possible these are the required uh, clock reset signals then 
these are the t data key valid ready t last id destination user and data so this this three are uh, can be id or destination or user this signals can be used to let's say that there is a one master and there is a more than one slaves so then in that case uh, we can use this id and the destination uh, values for the selection of the which slave to be in track with like uh, slave 1 slave 2 slave 3 like that so this this signal can be useful for the selection of this which slave we want to be communicate with so in a simple uh, way uh, i just uh, make the ready always as a one so that uh, master can uh, continuously send the data so it is simple that uh, when we having the reset so t temp stream uh, data to be zero a in else condition whatever the incoming uh, t data we we grab that data to be at temp stream t data we are just sampling the data at every clocks of the process clock we prefer the asynchronous or sorry asynchronous uh, reset but in this case it so uh, this waveform look like to i just uh, remove the uh, repeated signals from that uh, these related to the master okay so this is related with the slave so this so we get the same data what masters is sending at every clock and at last clock we get the t t last signal at a uh, 8 okay so this will happen every uh, eighth of the packet lengths so hope this uh, video is helpful for you please make comment for the any improvement or any uh, requirements uh, I will I will try my best to uh, satisfy that. Okay, thank you.